And I have known you for a number of years now. I recruited you, full disclosure, to write for Granite Rock. Which I don't do nearly enough. But. Well, it's always there. Thank we you. also know, however, that you're off doing other advocacy in which uh, uh, all that advocacy is in line with what Granite Rock stands for, so that's not a problem. Thanks. What I see is projection going on here. Oftentimes we hear the left saying that the right will do this, the right will do that. And I keep watching because you know that I am a voracious reader of the news. Perhaps sometimes too much because I don't get other things done. But a lot of times I see what the left says and then I watch what the left does. I see that the right hears it, may complain about it, but it doesn't happen but the left does exactly what they accuse the right of doing. Not so here one we hour are. after that. Okay, Skip, I don't mean to interrupt you, but Xandra Rice Hawkins in the person of Granite State Progress tweeted out something to the effect, and I'll send you the tweet. Here we go again. The, the violent anti-right uh, has, has uh, uh, accused our uh, a second legislator of violence and we're not going to get into that gutter well the first one was found guilty okay so it's again we're not going to talk about it okay but this is what happened and sh and the, the anti-right uh, assaulted one of our people so here again we see the projection yeah we see Xandra Rice Hawkins Ms. Altshiller did the same thing yeah she, she didn't name me, of course. Well, we need to get a hold of those. I have screenshots, and I'm happy to send them to you. Please do. Because Xander Rice Hawkins tried to Alinsky me way back during the 2008 presidential campaign. Oh, yes. When I didn't know anything about Saul Alinsky. Now I do. I employ those tactics because they are effective. But she tried to make me live up to my own rule book. Yes before I knew that was there. And I went, no, there's the living proof. Just because I put a screenshot up of somebody at a luncheon, this was for uh, uh, something having to do with, um, I, the term today is Medicare for all. It was, uni you know, it was universal health care. It was Obamacare at the time. So here's this person who was three times my size carrying two plates of food, very clear that it was looking like she was going to consume it. And I simply put, and I'm supposed to pay for her bad behavior, trying to use what the left was already sure, saying. Sure, sure. You know, because they always want to shut down our behavior yes. because now they feel, well, we're paying for your health care. We have a right to tell you how to live your life. They didn't like it when I tried to reverse the charges. Exactly. So that was my first introduction to her. Well, there's been nothing else, okay, um, that I can find. Of course, I, I don't tweet, I just troll. Um, but I've seen nothing else um, that's been mentioned anywhere. Well, I am going to ask you What's that? to please do a check in and see where this stands. It would be nice to see, um, you know, all of this is going to be public. It is. At some point. So at some point, we're going to understand the reports, all of the reports that have been filed. And mm -hmm. it would be nice to see what the representative has said, what, mm -hmm. if anything has been done. Now, that's in the court of legality. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. There is also, because of what she said, she's going to hurt me. She's dangerous. She also brought it into the court of public opinion. Her husband, who is the executive editor of Seacoast Online, a couple of days ago somebody said, Susan, do you really want to pick a fight with someone who buys ink by the barrel? <laughs> well, then you should have immediately said, do you know how large Granite Rock is in comparison to Seacoast Online? Well, again, again, my, you know, Skip, I, I expect people to be... Yes, and I buy my pixels at a flat rate per month. <laughs> well, you know, that that was it, and said, Susan, do you really want to do that? Okay. Hey, what I find shocking, really, and inexplicable to me, um, 
is why I am, am the target of these two things. I'm fairly well-mannered. I may not be as, as um, touchy-feely in my, in my talk as other people, but I've told you more than once, ask me what I think and I will tell you. But I, I don't know why I'm the target, unless they think they can um, pick on little old ladies or they're scared of, of grown-ups. I think the latter is probably something to do with it. I think what we talked about earlier of self-responsibility is part of that. I think that because you are at the State House all the time, you are the face of the Women's Defense League, being the legislative director. And as a result, you have become a face of the opposing movement to them. Yes. And the left cannot brook any dissent. So, Seems so. so they have made you a target. Whether you like it or not, you have become the face. Therefore, we will stand right behind you. Well, I'll tell you what, and, and um, I, I, I posted something, I think the day after it happened. That if if this is this is what you're going to do, if you feel compelled to put hands on me instead of debate me in in the realm of of, of discussion and uh, debate, um, you're going to have to kill me to shut me up, and that's just a fact. So. Um, Bring it on. Yeah. See, we are fortunate, you and I, in that we are kind of retired, although Granite Rock is becoming a business of, in its own right, along with a couple of other things that are in the works. So I have no problem in saying what I believe because they don't understand where they can threaten somebody's livelihood. And by threatening their livelihood, threaten somebody's family. Yes put them out on the street and in a lot of cases that's exactly what they want to do. Oh, they, they don't threaten want to those they threaten those legislators. I've read some of those emails. The, uh, astonishing. Astonishing. We should, the, we should the, put the, some the threats. Of, we should put some of those up if if you could reach back and say, you know, we, we would like to be able to do that just to show their face. But I look at it as and we have ha seen this happen within Granite Rock. I'm not going to get into the details, but they wanted somebody. Dis they've ha happened to picked on two or three people within Granite Rock, and literally want them to lose their jobs. And being out on the street is still not enough yeah. for people like you and I. There's nothing they can do, so they hate you even more. Wow. And us, because so it would appear. So it would appear. So. I thought this was going to be a short interview. This has turned out to be a longer one. Well, it always is that way when, when you and I sit down and talk, Skip. Uh, this is true. <laughs> so I want to say thank you for taking over an hour. Come on. With Granite Cry. Oh, my goodness gracious. You know what my billing rate is. Yeah, go ahead. Sue me for it because I can't pay. <laughs> no, we're going to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> we, we will go to lunch, and I will start putting this up in uh, little bites. Well, uh, speaking of little bites, I hope you do not fail to include uh, Representative Doug Lay's um, uh, whatever that was. I saw hair, it. Yeah, uh, down I at the well. I saw it this morning. And, and when he says take off the buttons, take off the beads... Representative Lay, come and take them. Mulan that Lame. is all. That is all. Except he wants, he doesn't want to take our firearms. He's looking to take away everyone's First Amendment rights. Correct. How totalitarian can you get to I don't that? know. I don't know. You take away the right, the natural right of someone's self defense, you take away their conscience, as in the New Hampshire Constitution, you take away their right to free expression, mm -hmm. to free speech, you are a totalitarian. To freedom of their to papers. Use, to use the idea that civility is a higher calling and a higher value than what is in the Constitution should be an anthema to us all. Yes, we all should be civil, but when I have watched the left talk and act over, the, over 12 years now in running Granite Rock, 
I can tell you, Representative Lay, there is no such thing as civility or hardly any civility on the left when the phrase, we will brook no dissent. Well, at least one of them has already pled guilty to assault. She hasn't served her sentence and there's no evidence that she will. And that is we'll see what Rogers. That is correct. Uh, two right to know requests have gotten me, well, we're unable to find evidence of it. And Nobody keeps track, so we'll see whether or not Ms. Altshuler is charged. We are all entitled to due process, and she is as well, um, and we'll see what happens. Well, let us know at Granite Rock where to go to f start sending in requests for information. And with that, Susan Olson, thank you for taking a large chunk of your day to talk with us. A pleasure always, Skip, and so nice to come find this little gem of a library. Thank you to the public library here. Okay, thank you. Crop TV.